before we move on to anything about game three, I got to ask. I just got to read all. I got to rattle off some of these quotes, man. All okay. right. Let, let's see if I can find these Dylan Brooks quotes. Like, the, <laughs> this, like, I'm like, so I have a monitor over here. And like, I'm finally like, actually like, using it for notes. It's pretty sick. But <laughs> so, all right. Quote, I don't care. He's old. I poke bears. I don't respect no one until <laughs> they come and give me 40. He also said that he wishes he would have gotten to guard the LeBron or Cleveland uh, version of LeBron so that because it'd be more of a challenge. Uh, he also he also did say, too, this was one I tweeted out because it's kind of like uh, it was kind of swept under the rug because obviously this isn't going to be the one that like catches anyone's eye or anything. But he he said, you know, he respects LeBron. He's a legend. He's LeBron James. Mm-hmm. And also, too. If you go back to his his Twitter account, you can find him, old tweets of him like praising LeBron, yeah, and all that. But he said like when you when you step out on that court, you're just another basketball player to me. Like you're just another six eight, two hundred seventy five, two hundred seventy pound basketball player to me. Mm-hmm. And obviously, it all gets taken out of context because at the end <laughs> of the day, like it's the for one, it's the playoffs, and two, like that's the kind of mentality you need as a competitor. Like you can't just absolutely be like. You just can't be like, oh yeah, like this is LeBron James, like the goat, all that. Like you gotta have that edge to you, and also too, like I don't know about you, I just feel like I was, you know, I've been watching this game, and like I don't feel that same spice that I felt when the Grizzlies were playing the Timberwolves, or the Grizzlies were playing mm-hmm. the Warriors, or back then when the Grizzlies were playing the Clippers and like the Blake Griffin Zebo era, or when. Or when like the Grizzlies and the young Oklahoma City Thunder teams, but I never felt that spice, that animosity a little bit. I appreciate Dylan Brooks kind of adding a little spice to the series. I don't know, I don't know what you think, Raj, but when you saw all those quotes, like you were just like, yeah. man, this dude. Like, what well, what were your thoughts? So my thing is, look, there's no heroes without villains, right? Like, I think you need villains, not just in the NBA, in most like story types and stuff. And I think you know Dylan Brooks. Not only is a villain, I don't think it's uh, fake. I don't think it's, you know, he just, I don't think he just does this for the camera. I think he really does go into every game and be like, that's LeBron James on the other side. Oh, I want to lock him up. Like, that's mine. Mm-hmm. Like, don't send help. Don't send to, like, I got him. And I think the Grizzlies embody that. And I think one of the, you can tell me if this is wrong, but I think one of the misconceptions that I see, at least even with the Warriors, like people, you know, go at Draymond for being this wild, crazy dude, right? Who just wiles up crowds. Steph is the exact same way. Steph is that much of an assassin. He wants to kill you just as much as Draymond does. He just doesn't put it out there. I think John Morant also wants to like destroy you just how Dylan Brooks does. He just he just doesn't say it out loud or he doesn't say these quotes that get put on ESPN. But John Morant goes into every game thinking he's the most best player on the floor no matter who he's playing. Dylan Brooks, I think, embodies that kind of a what Memphis has. I love it. I love the competition. I think, you know, Dylan Brooks won the battle. LeBron James started to pick up his offense to where, like, I think LeBron James might win the war, you know? But I think Dylan Brooks won that battle. He hit that three, jumping in LeBron's face. You know, you could tell. um, I think Dylan Brooks was probably chirping all game. I think that point that you mentioned that where the Lakers cut it to six, that's where LeBron James first heard it, right? He's like, oh, okay, like, let's go then. Like, I've been hearing this all game, but my offense started to pick up. I think Dylan Brooks picked up his fourth foul, which he also mentioned in those quotes that uh, LeBron started talking after he picked up his fourth foul, which is which is great, which is which is amazing. But I love it. I think you know Dylan Brooks is going to be the villain in this series. He's going to be a villain in every series that he plays, at least as a as a Memphis Grizzly. But I loved it. I think it's great for the NBA. I think they need guys like that. Patrick Beverly filled this role over a lot of times. Draymond Green still fills this role, and Dylan Brooks is is a part of that as well. They told the line between you know aggressiveness and you know competition, but. I think it's great and it's needed for the league, and I love it. Let's let's uh, bring it on for these next few games. 